Hello YouTube, how are we all? Hope we're all well. Jesus, it's been a very long time since I made a video, isn't it? Um, I did make two videos, but um, for some reason my uh, editing app wouldn't upload them properly, so they kept corrupting. I, I, I don't know what's wrong. Um, and I'm also noticing any time I seem to upload a video with certain music that I thought was alright, I seem to get copyright striked. So, you know, it's been like, what, a month? Two months? Um, I'm just wondering about my house now. So, today's a leg day session. Um, I want to take you through my leg day. If you, obviously everyone here follows me on Instagram. Um, and you'll see that, you know, my legs have grew quite a bit from, you know, all the training I've been doing. So I kind of want to take you through my routine. Um, show you what I've been doing to grow my legs the best way as possible. Um, I'll show you a before and after later on in the video to show you obviously where I started and where I am now. And yeah, um, hopefully it's a good video and hopefully you enjoy. So, what was I going to say? Right now, just get ready to go to the gym. So, I've got the gym the now, and then I'm going to get my second vaccine later on today so I thought I'd do the gym first because I didn't know how I'd feel. So currently I'm just about to have some pre-workout, well I say about to have, I'm about to put it in my scoop, no about to put my scoop in my bottle, walk to the gym and have it there but um, aye I'll show you what I'm having. I've got this new, excuse the absolute mess, oh good you can't see it. So I've got this new Ghost Legend pre-workout, if any of you know Christian Guzman, he is sponsored by Ghost and he has been for many many years. Um, he's also the owner of Alphalete and Alphalete Gym and 3D Energy. Basically, he's a pretty famous guy, famous on YouTube, you know, one of the OGs of fitness YouTube. He, every so often, collabs with Ghost and brings his own pre-workout, like, once a year. So I managed to get my hands on it this year after, like, three years or four years he's been doing this. It only, it's, like, limited edition. I finally managed to get one. It's, uh, what's it? Lemon naturally flavoured. It's gorgeous. Honestly, I... I've never tasted such a good pre-workout in my life. Um, I don't feel the same kick as I do with other pre-workouts, so um, normally you'll get that tingly feeling. I think it's I don't think the beta alanine's in it, or it's like got a lot. I don't think it actually does, um, or it does. Sorry, and it's got two thousand five hundred, whatever that means. Um, I could not tell you about a panel. Apparently, there's three hundred mg of caffeine and all that you do get focused from it. So I do feel myself being focused in a gym and I feel a lot more, you know, it's just more zoned in. I don't feel that tingly feeling, but I think it's just because my caffeine tolerance is probably quite high. Um, and maybe the bit of alanine tingles are just, I have no idea. But to be fair, I've been going to the gym after having like two or three meals, so that could be why. Where today, I've only had one meal, which was toast, and then I'm going to go to the gym. So maybe I'll feel something today. But... What I'll do is I'll catch up with you in the gym and I'll show you my workout routine. So that's me currently on my way to the gym. Um, it's only like 20 minutes after we spoke. But to be fair it takes me like 25 minutes to walk there. Um, or if Callum watches this, 27 minutes. Because um, that's what I keep saying to him. Uh, I so currently, as I mentioned, today is my leg day. Um, I do take a lot of inspiration from my leg day from a guy called Josh Bridgman. Um, I follow him on YouTube. I also follow him on, or oh, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I also follow his Instagram. Um, he's an IFBB pro bodybuilder and uh, his legs are phenomenal. He is men's physique, however, he only trains his legs once a week, which if you saw his legs, which I will show you a picture now, um, I did ask him if I could show a picture of him and speak about him in the video. So. Hopefully he says yes to that and you'll see the pictures here. Um, he's he's quite good for responding. I do recommend people go follow him and uh, also subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, I mean, he's massive. Well, I say massive. He's a massive guy. But he's also like, uh, I think he's got like 50,000 subscribers and 50 followers on Instagram and YouTube. So that's fantastic. Obviously, he's also got an online coaching business. Um, but yeah, so for over watching his videos, and watching his leg days, I've been trying to copy what kind of he does because obviously he's doing something right to grow his legs. Um, so you will see that throughout my video. So if any of you watch his stuff, you'll see that kind of my routine is similar to his. Um, I've got a few add ons that I add on myself, and um, that's just personal preference, but majority of it's kind of similar to his, um, similar pattern and things. Um, so yeah, I'm about 10 minutes away from not even 10 minutes, 
about five minutes away from the gym. So once I'm there, I'll get ready, put my yellow vans on, and then we'll start the session. And then I'm going to try and talk through it. Hopefully it's not too busy and you'll hear me. If not, what I want to try and do, because I've been trying to do it for a while, is a voiceover. Um, if I can do that and figure it out, then hopefully we'll get that. If not, I'll talk about it after in another clip. But yeah, so I'll see you when I'm in the gym. So you'll see with the leg extension there, um, I got the band, put it down the bottom, under one bit and then under the other. And what that does is it seat belts, seat belts me in, um, learned that from Josh. And basically, obviously as the heavier the weight gets, you'll start to feel your ass come off the arse and your hips come off the seat, which then means you're not really getting the neat flexion you should be getting because your hips are then rising above. So it's stopping the muscle really getting to full contraction. Um, so yeah, I've started diving the bad then, started to film a lot more in my the upper bit of my quads, which is great, um, and obviously I did to your drop bit. Um, so the reason I start with the leg extensions and the hamstring curls and also the abductors is because I'm trying to, with the leg extensions, you'll be hitting the muscle at its shortest, which means when you do your heavy compounds, if you come to that last, because you're trying to hit the muscle at its shortest, it's already weak from doing all the heavy compounds, meaning you're not going to target it as well as you would if you hit it first of all. And I'm starting with my hamstring curls for the same thing again because I want, one, I want to grow my hamstrings and by doing the line hamstring curl, basically you're going to target it even better. But if you come to that, you know, last after all your heavy compounds, then it's not going to be as well targeted as it would be starting with it. Another thing I've also learned from Josh. So, I did to do these sort of three movements first, then I'll go and do my hat squat, um, then my leg press, which I'll show you as well. Um, I just need to paint an angle for this leg extension. Another thing about doing these sort of movements first, your leg extensions, your hamstring curls, um, you know, your abductors. Um, basically, obviously these movements are all machine based, but they're also not as taxing on your muscles as what the leg press, what a squat would be, the hat squat, um, Romanian deadlifts, you know, these heavy compounds, they're very taxing the muscle, meaning it's very hard to get a lot of volume in, such as like high reps, high sets, you can do it but your muscle will be so taxed eventually at the point where you'll start cooperating other muscles, which is obviously not what you want if you want to grow your legs. So start with these movements first, where you can hit the high volume. You won't be using a lot of other muscles because you know the movement itself is not too taxing on the muscle, meaning you could grow that muscle a lot better. Um, so it's just small tips and tricks. So what I'll do is normally is I'll do these sort of leg extensions, hamstring curls and things. I'll do about four sets, five sets, I'll do about 12, 10 to 12 reps. But then when it comes to my you know, heavy compounds, I'll only do about two or three sets, but I'll keep the reps between like seven and 10. So I'll try not to go to, I'll try to go a bit more heavy because obviously we want to go heavy in our compounds. It'll help you know, the muscle, but I don't want to do a lot of volume because I want to keep a lot of, uh, I want to do more of the volume on my leg movements. Um, so yeah, kind of some tips and tricks. All things I've been learning off of uh, Josh Berthman, I've been mentioned for about a hundredth time. Also from other people, but mostly just him, because he seems to be one of the most educational people I know at the moment. Um, so yeah, I get quite distracted in the middle of talking, so I do apologise if this is boring as fuck as well. Um, but yeah, I'll get up on my movement and see you in the next one.
So that's me basically done all my kind of accessory movements for the gym. So, you know, I did my adductors, my few leg extensions, hamstring curls. So those ones I'm obviously, as I mentioned, I'll do sets of like four to five. I'll do rep between 12 and 15. So now I'm moving on to the leg hat squat, sorry. Um, so I kind of favour the hat squat over the actual normal squats just because, um, well, one, I just go into myself. Um, doing squats because I, and I did try to squat too heavy and I find I just it's a bit more comfortable I don't feel like my back's getting too compromised um, I'm not going to say I won't squat forever but just right now while I'm kind of dieting I'm just preferring the hat squat and to be fair I've noticed a bigger difference in my quads from doing hat squats than I did from normal squats so um, like I mentioned I am doing reps between two and three sorry sets between two and three and reps are normally like to 7 to 10. You'll see I don't do a lot of weight because I'm weak as fuck. Um, but I mean, the machine itself's like, I don't know, it says something, maybe like, I think it says 40 kg, and then obviously I've got the two 10 kilograms on. So, 70 kg, I think that. 60 kg, Jesus, my math shape. Um, I, oh, it says right here. The machine itself is 47.6 kg. So, there you go. 67 kg, that's not bad, that's not bad. So I, you'll see me do these sets here. Um, you'll see I don't go as low as probably like as to grass. That's just because it stops my hips. Where I stop is where I'm comfortable. That's what you should be doing is where you're comfortable. If you're going too low, you'll find your hips and your arse are starting to move off the pad, meaning then you're compromising your lower spine, which obviously is not something you want to do unless you want to get a broken spine and be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Yeah, you'll see me do some shitty high squats. So as you'll see there, I've just done the leg press, which I only did, which only did three sets of, well, I only did three sets of. Um, got a wee PB in that. I also got a PB in a leg on my hack squats. That's 87 kg for seven. So clearly, even though I'm in a deficit, I'm still getting stronger, which is good because I've, I've been, I was gonna make my deficit, you know, extreme. I was gonna try and lose loads of weight really fast, but then I decided to take my time with it. And, you know, see, because obviously, I was just getting back in the gym, so I'll just take my time with it, try and grow muscle and also get stronger while, 
losing weight and it seems to have worked out. I'm still getting stronger, I'm losing weight, I'm getting leaner, you know, and I, I definitely see a difference in my muscles. Um, you'll see there as well, I did some Bulgarian split squats, did two sets, I normally just do till failure, and that's just to kill the quads off, get a wee bit of the glutes, um, and really just destroy it. And to be honest, I was almost in tears because they are brutal as fuck. Um, next, I've got hip adductors, um, which I'll do about four sets of. You know, I'll keep the weight around, you know, enough that I can do about 12 reps. And then I'll, after that, I'll do about six sets of calves because I believe that because you're walking around so much, your calves need a lot of volume for it. So I normally do about six, five or six sets, and about 15 reps with a decent weight. Um, but I'll show you that when it comes. So I was down in the gym about 20 minutes ago, um, as you can see, different outfit. Um, yeah, so then I went and got my vaccine, double vaccinated. Hope you enjoyed that leg day um, and I'm um, double vaccinated. I am fucking roasting, but I can't tell if it's the vaccine that's making me a wee bit fevery. Hope not, So I've got a nice weekend coming. Um, or if it's just because it's fucking humid as fuck, but I think it's humid as fuck because I had a wee bit, it was, I was sweating my pan in before. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll um, tag Josh Bridgman down below. Um, not that I need to because he's fucking famous as it is. Um, but yeah, I'll tag him because I know some of my friends probably don't watch him or have him. Um, as if anybody else other than my probably watching this anyway. And uh, yeah, I uh, if I watch back this video and I decide to add more parts to this, then I will, obviously, but right now there's nothing more to add, so I will leave you here and uh, yeah, see you later. Have a nice day, bye.